Hello everybody. How you doing today? I'm doing all right. Uh, yeah, just working on my diamond painting. Um, this is one of the crafts that I found back in late 2018. It I, I love to cross stitch, and this is very similar to that, but it does not take near as much time. Um, you've got the, the area here, which is sticky, and then you've got all the little dots that you put on them color-coded. And, you know, you can make some very amazing things uh i've made some very big ones i've made um an anubis for my oldest son and his wife and my youngest son really loves deadpool so i actually made a two foot by by one and a half foot big Deadpool, plus I've got about the same size one that's done of Deadpool Pikachu, because he also likes uh, Pokemon. So I did one with that, that was a hybrid of Pikachu as Deadpool. Um, it is very relaxing for me. Um, now, there's many ways you can do this. Some people will do small areas and do color by color in it. And if it's a small or very, very large piece, I will do that. But this right here, uh, oh, what's the size of this? Let's see if I can find it. It is 40 by 100 centimeters. And for something like this, I prefer to pull up a section and go color by color doing one whole color for the entire section and then moving on to the other color. Now, doing it that way, yes, I do. Oh, sorry. I do miss some because, I mean, you can see that it is packed full of symbols. Um, so, you know, you will miss them. But when, what I do is once I've gone on to the next color, if I come across one area or one, you know, dot that is a color I've already worked on, I'll just take and grab one of those colors and put it in there. Um, but as you can tell, I've got two fairly good sections done. I'm working on this one. It's It's gone from here. And I'm going to right there for this section. Um... For me, it is relaxing, even though it does hurt my back. But it also helps me keep my mind off the pain. So I don't focus on it. And I, can, I end up taking less medication for my back because... I'm focused on what I'm doing and 
and not focused on what time it is, is it time for medication, how much I'm hurting, um, you know, about the only time I, I really pay attention to when I'm hurting is when I have to get up and stretch or go get something to drink or eat or something like that. That's about the only time I focus. And then, you know, I'll stretch it out, uh, maybe take a pain pill, and then I'm right back at it. Uh, it, it is slow going for me because you're putting a dot in a square area one at a time. You can, for like, like here you see all these O's. Um, you know, I have different tips. This is the tip for a single, to put a single one in. This is a tip you can use to put three at a time in. Uh, there are also tips where you can put five or seven in at a time. But I don't like using them that much because a lot of times it doesn't turn out straight. But for like this big area here... You know, I'll, I'll do all the other colors and I'll hit these, these larger areas last. And, you know, I'll use this, this three-placer or sometimes if it's a really big picture, the, fi the five-placer. But it does take a while. Um, a... You know, 40 by 40 centimeter square picture will probably take about, and eh, depending on how many colors it is, 5 to 10 hours. Um, something like this, I've been working on it for a few days already. Um, not constantly because yesterday and Wednesday I had doctor appointments um, but it, it is it is time consuming but when you're like me and you can't get out and do things that you want to do a lot it, it helps the time pass and it keeps me occupied so I don't feel the pain quite as much. Um, I do have issues doing this because I have tremors. My hands shake a lot. And trying to be precise when uh, your hands shake is is really not easy. So um, I've found that what I do is I'll show you. All right, so I am working on the color. Uh, that correlates to the sh to the L. Um, so I got some in my cap here. Um, I also have different trays. This is one of the trays that I'll use for for big, putting in more at a time for bigger areas. Uh, Okay, so, all right, because my hands shake, what I'll do is I'll get one dot, and 
I will use my pinky. I will put my pinky down wherever and then put the dot where it's supposed to go. That helps me keep things a little bit more controlled. Um, now, yes, usually my pinky will stick a little bit, but it does not usually affect anything. Uh, it, it doesn't degrade the stickiness of the ear area, luckily. So... Um, using my, my nail and putting my pinky down definitely helps to stabilize my hand a little bit more and keep things semi-straight. You know, you've, here's the edge. You can tell it's fairly straight, but... You know, as, as you look in, it's not a perfect line. Uh, it, it is very difficult to get it into a perfect line. Um, now, as you tell, I just turned the light, light board off. I have this light board um, that I place it on because it helps to be able to see the different symbols a lot easier, especially in the evening time. Uh, you know, there are some uh, pictures that the symbols are extremely similar to each other. And that makes it really difficult at times to differentiate which one is which. Um, you know, I like this one. It's using all letters. And they have switched it up enough to where no letter looks alike. I mean, I've got the N, but it, which is uppercase, but the M is lowercase. So, you know, a lot of places do try to make it easier and less stressful on people trying to figure out which color goes with what symbol, all of that fun stuff. So, um, you know, this one is definitely one I've had for a while. When when I first found diamond painting, it was the it was September of 2018 is when I found about found out about diamond painting and it was brand new at the time. And I I am a person that never does anything halfway. Um, when I do something, it is all or nothing. So, I bought a shit ton of projects. Over the four years that I've been doing this, I've probably done at least three to four hundred and I still have at least a hundred to do um at least uh so I, I you know I really don't go halfway on anything I will I will go all in for something. Um, I actually just got back, back into working on diamond painting for the first time in 
<sighs> about a year and a half, I guess, um, my depression got pretty intense and I stopped, I stopped diamond painting, I stopped coloring, I stopped playing my Xbox games, I, all I wanted to do was sleep. Um, so, it, it's really good to be back into my diamond paintings again, and working on what I, things that I love to do. Um, they, they are so beautiful. Some of these pictures are absolutely intricate. Some uh, are, you know, more basic. The ones I really love are the mandalas that I get. I, I love doing mandalas. And I have a whole lot of those. Uh, I've got, I've done a lot of nature ones where it's showing trees of different seasons, you know, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. I do, you know, pets. I, I, I do all sorts of them. And, you know, I'm not doing them for any reason other than my own enjoyment. I'm not doing them to sell. I do like to do them to give them away. Uh, I, with the ones that I have done, I am thinking about trying to sell them online because one of my goals, one of my dreams has actually been to um, have my own little craft shop online where I can, the, the original plan was to sell cross-stitch pictures, um, but because this is so similar to cross-stitch, I could also sell these, and I I think in the new year, I may actually go ahead and try and start working on doing that. Because, you know, I do it for the fun. Not for any other reason. I just do it for me. So if I can sell the ones that I've got done, then, you know, I can put more money into buying new ones. <laughs> Uh, or buying more tarantulas. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it it would all work in the end. <laughs> so, you know, I, I really do love doing this. I love my cross stitch even more, but because of my neck issues and the tremors doing a cross stitch anymore is almost impossible for me anymore um and that really bums me out it really does because i i have so much cross stitch projects not only from what I bought over the years, but what my mom had bought over the years and I inherited from her. So, I mean, I've got, I've got enough crafts to last me about four lifetimes. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it's all good. And... Doing things to keep me busy is paramount to my pain management. 
finding something that will take my mind off of how much I hurt is really, really key to, to me being a lot happier and less stressed. So, I am, I'm very glad to be, to have the energy and desire to work on my diamond paintings again. It's been a long, hard road of therapy to get me back to where I need to be to enjoy myself and enjoy my life and not just be existing. So, uh, you know, I just thought I'd do a video of me working on something I love to do. So, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed learning about it and working, yeah, watching me do a little bit of work. Um, you can get diamond paintings from specific places online, but I get a whole lot of mine from Amazon with two-day Amazon Prime. Some of them will take longer because, you know, there are some that are sold from overseas people, and those will take a little while to come, but for the most part, what I get, I get, I get them delivered within two day with two day shipping, so, um, it's something that, that can really help you focus if you need to forget about things, so, all right. I will go ahead and end this, and if you're watching, I really appreciate it. I thank you for you taking the time to watch a little bit of what I do, and I appreciate it, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!